Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this series of database lessons. In this video, we will uh, talk about the difference between a primary key and a unique key. Right? So, like I mentioned, the primary key enforces uniqueness and it also makes sure the data doesn't have any null values. Okay. So, in this table, this column could be a uh, you know, we can have a primary key on this column because any employee that is who is hired has to have an employee ID, right? So that is a business rule. That business rule is enforced by having a primary key on this column. So when I talk about these keys, basically they enforce some business rule, right? Or otherwise you can, you know, uh, if you don't want those kind of uh, uh, in a relational uh, database management system, you can just have a spreadsheet and go about uh, with that. But the problem is, you know, people could enter different uh, uh, wrong values in there, making the entire spreadsheet uh, invalid, right? So that, that's the thing. Like now, in uh, if you're writing a Word document or something, and if some fact uh, is incorrect you can say that you know uh, out of this thousand page documents these are the facts which are incorrect but then if you have like a, a data with a million row table and then you know that a couple of rows are wrong and you don't know which rows it is then the entire million rows table is invalid okay so you have to protect the data uh, by using uh, whatever methods that are available so the business rule is you cannot have an employee who doesn't have an employee ID. So that is implemented by having a primary key here, right? So uh, Mr. McDonald joined the company, He's, so he has an employee ID. And then uh, when Tom joins, he's, he was uh, assigned employee ID too, all right? So you cannot have Jerry without an employee ID, right? So the employee ID has to be there. So the un And also, Jerry's employee ID cannot be two because Tom already has a employee ID too, right? So these are the business rules. So that uniqueness as well as uh, not having a null value is being enforced by primary key. But then in this case, according to the business nature and the rule, uh, a user will have a citizenship ID and uh, if they have, it must be unique. But then there could be some users. I mean, I'm sorry, some employees who who are who may not be having a citizenship ID yet. Okay, like I explained in this case, Barba Papa, um, he came out from a he came from a different planet, and uh, he has just applied for a citizenship ID. Okay, but he has been hired, so he has an employee ID. Uh, like that, Yogi Bar, who was living in woods, he joined this company, has applied for a citizenship. Uh, and he had to get his ID, but then he has an employee ID and he's still working. So when you have a unique key, right, the uniqueness alone is enforced, but you are allowed to have null values. Okay. Some people can ask, like, now how come they can have more null values and still call it unique? Won't this null be same as this null? No. Nope. Nothing is not equal to nothing. That's a database rule. Okay, so that's the difference between the primary key and the unique key. Uh, primary key does not allow null values. Unique key allows null values. Other than that, primary key enforces uniqueness. Unique key enforces uniqueness. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please send it as a comment. And uh, if you have been watching all these videos, and I would appreciate if you could rate those videos, or uh, if you like them, you know, if you let me know, uh, you know, that would encourage me put, to put more videos. Thanks. Or even if you don't like them, you know, just mention it. I'll uh, find out where the where I can improve. Thanks.